Hello and welcome to the first ever 14 most underrated YouTubers on YouTube. This is my opinion and I'm basing this off of people who I believe deserve more recognition or followers uh, because they make good content. Yes lad, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, the first person I have, well, people I should say, and the cats, is Rachel and June's adventure. So, like, they, these, they, like, this cute couple, right, in Japan, so there's this girl named Rachel, and she's got ginger hair, and, and she lives in Japan with her husband, June, and it's so wholesome. They have four cats now, I think. There's a new one called Peachy, and then they've got big cat Haku and the little little cat Nagi and then they've got the feral cat Pokey it's just so wholesome and entertaining you know they, they, I've learnt a lot about Japan their process and everything they don't like they like document their whole lives and everything like they're moving houses and it, it's just such a wholesome experience that I, I think they deserve better legitimately one of the most naturally funny YouTubers. It's got to be Callum. He's a he's a fucking weapon. Um, I I've, I have a little list of things that he has done over the course of his career. Uh, re recently, tried to fight Tommy in it, who who is seventeen years old. Um, he has done self defense videos in his booty shorts. Uh, he didn't sleep for seventy two hours and surprisingly got tired. Uh, did a challenge where it was like bean boozled jelly beans, you know, the like real ghost ones. They were like the only thing you could eat for 24 hours. Uh, and then he ate one and immediately threw up. Um, and then he also has made this video called Spiders are Knobs. And, and I think this is the one of the greatest YouTubers and definitely deserves some more respect around here. So a football youtuber right but a funny and entertaining one so like he does like weekly videos called football this week where he comedically like talks about everything that happens in football but but however his peak videos like his very best videos are his like football opinions with wolfie like that shit is actually the funniest shit and said wee wee bonbon dipped out for france in it you're really trying to force this wee wee <laughs> What you were meant to say is bonjour. Why would he say hello? Oh, is that not a bite? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, though, he, he, is, he is probably the best football-based YouTuber um, if you don't just want to take the piss out of someone. So, N Notorious Pat is a goat. He is the guy that runs Croc Gang Entertainment. And he mostly talks about rap and has made like some of the most goaded videos of all time, like his XXL Freshman videos. But man is funny and on his philosophical shit now too. And like, it's good because I'm growing up, I need to hear these life lessons. And man is preaching. He is preaching. Like, like his most video right now is his EDP video. And that shit is hella funny. Hella, hella funny. He does not miss a beat. But he doesn't have like any of the like fancy equipment to make his videos like high quality or anything. But man, it's naturally funny. And I think he deserves way better. Killian's videos are an experience. A man will sit there, play a video game, and somehow make a video on that game with such little to do with the game get entirely focused on the game. I don't get it. If I capture a legendary Pokemon, I become a champion. But if I do the same thing in real life and throw a mountain gorilla in my trunk, I get arrested. And I believe it's some of the most entertaining content of all time. His playthroughs of Pokemon are unrivaled. Like, legitimately, like, you cannot find a, a better Pokemon-based video on the internet. Uh, you know, his... His prison video is also a masterpiece, and his Spyro video was a journey when it first came out. Yeah, no, f funniest Swedish man on the app.
Speaking of Spyro, <laughs> we have a man who recently ranked every single Spyro level ever. Like, ever, ever. Not just, like, the three games, every single one. Even the fucking, like, shitty GBA ones. All of them. Which is actually phenomenal. Like, I don't think you understand that. Like, it's five hours long and is constantly entertaining. Like, I, don't, I haven't played half the levels, to be honest. But fuck, man, I enjoyed the whole thing. But on the regular... He, like, reviews games, but the true gold is within Jack's personality. Like, he is a good Aussie bloke. I don't really get that much, you know? Like, because where I'm from, I'm not meant to think that. But, fuck, his game testing videos are always incredibly funny. The titties! What the fuck? And his video where he finally moved out from his parents' home, that like, it came out like a year ago. And it's one of my favorite, like, videos, but it's also one of the only videos to make me cry. Simply, like, seeing him progress from, like, when I was, like, 13 years old, when he did this, like, his Enter the Dragonfly video. My god, man. It was so fulfilling. That, that video is goaded, by the way. Love that video. Where the fuck do I start with Alison Quinn? A and realistically, what can I say? I, I would recommend watching the Twitch highlight videos from like a few years ago that are kind of still about. That is what this man does. This is the one, the one case I can truly think of where I cannot distinguish a character from a person. Like, Allison is no longer active, but fuck me, it is the funniest, like, wider pieces of content on YouTube. With how deep the rabbit hole goes, you can jump from uh, mouth sounds ASMR. Now for some light blowing. Imagine yourself on a hot summer day, and a nice breeze is on the way. to man giving you a fresh clean fade and, and I, I love every second of it. This cunt legitimately scares me. Like there are there are very few things that can scare me on YouTube because I'm aware that's all like number 13 calm. I don't want to hear that right. The the amount of shit I've seen this man put his body through astounds me. I'll name some, I'll name some. He drank 120 raw eggs, has eaten multiple cacti, caught and ate a raw jellyfish with his bare hands. G'day mate. And became the perfect man on Maximo First Channel. Absolute machine. This guy, you may have seen one or two of his compilations before as he makes the the best the best like the best cringe compilation on youtube yes. uh -huh. <laughs> sorry about that <coughs> like no it's not even close but on top of that he makes other videos such as his crappy music or fetish videos which focus on incredibly obscure and funny shit you would have never seen this outside of his channel. Like, I, I don't know where he pulls the shit from. In this fetish video, there was a dude who, like, wore a suit and likes to get fucking, I don't know, like, shit thrown on him. Because it turns him on. I don't know, I don't know. Just check out his channel. It's, they're, they're all relatively short videos and they're, fuck, they're fucking funny, man. So, this is a channel with only three subscribers, so he's truly, truly underrated. This man has produced some big bangers on the YouTube scene, such as I Got A Toy Gun, FIFA Part 1, FIFA Part 2, yeah, and Infamous 2, <laughs> Infamous. Inf Infum, info, info must too. 
Uh, you can tell I'm a big classic fan, because under this video specifically, I commented saying, why so shit, hashtag shart week, five years ago. Uh, so you can see I'm clearly an OG Kobe Nielsen fan. Now, this is a group, and they're mostly streamers. However, their highlight videos on their YouTube channel are gold. Being around for over like 10 years now, and which is like really surprising for such a large group. Like there's, I think it must be like 15 of them. The amount of shenanigans and content of this group is unparalleled. The the thing that takes the cake for me though, is their old series You Mad, where they like watch random ass wrestling videos on YouTube. And, hold on. <laughs> what do you want to do when we get home? Suck dick. I don't know, um, maybe I was thinking we could play chess or something like that. <laughs> That's what they do in the free time. It's just, it's just magical. I swear, like, <laughs> I these would never be seen by the public and just disappear if these were never seen by by this lot. And now, for the most underrated and greatest YouTuber of all time, me, Brad Pitt. Look at all my amazing content, and still I am not a millionaire? Shame on you. So subscribe today to see more videos like this one, and Spyro enters into Haunted Towers. Please, subscribe. <laughs>